follow Bang and Jane because I also worked with three out of the four members. Yeah. And, you know, it's totally out of character for Jim to start anything, you know, and it's just, it's killing everybody. You know, of course, they have his celebration of life on Friday night. Coming up. Yeah. Where Tell will us. that be held? Yeah. Excuse me? Where will that be held? That's at the Rochester American Legion. Yeah. What's the, tell, tell us what Jim's like, someone that knew him. Someone. He's a fun-loving guy. He loves to have a good time, but he also likes to be away from drama. You know, he's, he's not one that likes to get involved in drama. Was Gary's a place that it was normal for Jim to go and hang out with friends? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, anytime I go, like I said, I worked with a lot of the band members outside of the band, and just to go and watch them, they had a large mm -hmm. gathering that oh, yeah. followed them from, you know, local establishments where they played. And yeah. It's just really, it's really tough. Why do you think he was targeted in this particular Did you hear, was there any sense of things? I. I've yet to hear what transpired inside the bar, but again, it's not something that Jim would provoke. If anything, maybe something was said to his girlfriend or a friend, mm -hmm. but I really don't know either way. Do you know the, do you know the guy, Eric Langlis? Do you know no, who I've never met him. The other two females, they do look familiar, but Mm -hmm. As far as having dealings with him, I've never dealt yeah. with him. Explain the band connection, what band he was in and what he played. He, he was the drummer for the group called Bang and Jane. Um, very popular in the Rochester area. That's where they mainly played. They also played private parties. Mm -hmm. I recently talked to a friend in Acta, Maine that had the band play at his son and nephew's 16th and 17th birthday party. So it just goes to show you what type of guys they are. You know, they're just really good guys. How are his friends and other band members doing now? Well, Bob, who is the bass player, he grew up with Jim in high school, grade school. Yeah. They've known each other for years. He's taken it really hard. Plus Mike Frampton, the lead singer, he's also taken it really hard because he was, you know, between Jim and you know Mike, they were kind of the glue of the band. They tried, you know, keeping it together. How long had you known Jim? I've known Jim since 2000, 2001, mm -hmm. when he worked for Iron Mountain out of Milton. And you and you wanted to come here today. Why? Well, one, I wanted to see the animal that took his life, but to kind of hear what went on and try to just report back to, you know, friends and family, you know, as to what I heard and saw. Mm -hmm. 